install this logo, you're going to put it up about where you want it, and I'm crooked. So, so what? You're going to center left to right um, to be what you want. I had six inches, and then I got 13 inches to the edge of the logo. But you see also this stripe right here under Plato's is what you level the logo with. Not, do not use the edge of the paper to, logo, to level your logo. So we're going to turn the logo and get closer to center here and uh, get our stripe more close to level. And my arms got short. So, 12, I guess I'm, okay, now we're going to make sure that the, uh, that the logo is running true by a straight. So I'm measuring from the ceiling down to the stripe and I got 28 inches. In this instance, yours might, might vary, and here I'm a quarter of an inch off. Uh, so I have to come down on this end just a little bit. So I'll take the tape loose and drop my quarter of an inch and double check that I did what I thought I did. And yes, now we're straight. Okay. Now our logo is centered where we want it and it's level. So now you take and put a piece of tape here approximately and the same at the bottom, masking tape, to hold the, uh, the hinge point. Now what you're going to do is as you take this loose, because the masking is folded around and stuck to the paper on the back, you're going to take a scissors and cut just a little bit off right up the edge so that your mask is released from the paper. Okay? And at which point you're going to fold this back and you can stick your tape to the wall like that again. And then you're going to Peel the uh, mask back. And then you'll take your scissors and you'll cut right up the wall there. And then we're going to take this, uh, you can use a ruler or whatever piece straight you have, and uh, you're going to stick it. To the mask all the way down because that helps you to hold it straight as you go. And then you bring you bring it around just gently. You're not pulling hard on it, you're just gently holding it out here. Take your squeegee and slide back and forth, sticking the mask down. And again you can peel your bar loose. Okay? And uh, now we're going to set the bar down and we'll take this piece back and we'll trim we're gonna we're trimming off the uh, um, fold back on the mask here so that uh, will be ready to release. Now, if you take this and you fold it back like so, and you know what, my thumb's too big for the scissors, there we go, and you're going to fold this back, so you have this part of it open, you hinge it back around, you take your squeegee, by doing it this way you only have part of the logo open to catastrophe. So you have more control over it this way, and you just go down the line, squeegeeing this onto the wall. And when you get up to where you bend, you hinge it back, and you can hinge your logo back, and you can just take the paper, and now in this case here, the I'm going to show you the paper is peeling loose right here, and, and, and not so that C is not going to stick. If that happens, you have to take your 
um, a little razor knife or stick pin or something and get that paper um, to start coming off. What I'm going to do is I'm going to squeegee the logo down up to the seam so I have less stuff loose. And then I will take that piece off because that C is not going to stick with that paper stuck on there. And if you just get a hold of the paper, you can peel the paper off and, and be done with it. And then you just go on putting your logo on the wall. Now since we're getting down to the end here, we'll just take our paper off and for some reason it did it again so we get double test on our, um, well, okay, now we're going to stop because I'm going to we have the paper that stuck to the back here, the release paper, and you want to get just the paper, not the logo. So sometimes you got to mess around just a moment or two to, to get under just the paper, and then you can peel the, get that paper off in there. Okay, so now the logo is all clear, and we'll go back to our squeegeeing. And you just take your squeegee and you run it at an angle. And now we've got the whole logo down. We're going to do a one time last pass over this whole thing just to make sure that it's all contact to the wall. And then we begin peeling. And you can just peel at an angle, be, being careful to watch when you first come to the, a new letter or a new logo. Uh, part of the graphics that, that it didn't peel up. If a letter starts to peel up, okay, let's just say that that this E started peeling up. You'll just take back this way and you'll take your finger and you'll push it down so it's firmly bonded and, and you'll uh, pull it off, continue your removal. You remove at an angle so that um, uh, you're less likely to peel up the edge of a letter when you're coming off at an angle. So I'm going to step down and keep on pulling here. And uh, and you're pulling at a, if you notice, I pull at a very sheer angle to the wall. Not out from the wall, but parallel with the wall. I'm pulling to get the liner off because that way there's less uh, pull against the graphic because they over time the adhesive sets up even more. And there you have a logo all installed.